as the uh, oh we're live sorry <laughs> as I pushed it we're talking about all right you're live right now yeah we are live. See. All right, you guys, we're going to wait for everyone to get in the room. But if you haven't painted your board black, now is the time to do so. Kim and Holly, Bam, Dale, Clear, Catherine, Sue, Alex, JJ, what's up? What is up? Donna Parker, what's up? going to be using a torch tonight and if you have a brand new one go ahead and fill it up with your butane here all right so um we're just going to go we're going to go right into it let us get this transition going here welcome to pour with us class number five 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 right into this camera. Jeff's the best director. Fire. 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 I don't know why filling up torches makes me so insanely and nervous. How would you? Does it? Because it makes me nervous. Got a hungry man in the house, then. I know. <laughs> if I cooked, he wouldn't have this beautiful figure that he has. No, dad That's bod. Fair. His dad bod. His dad bod. His beer bod. Gloves. 9 a.m. Sunday morning, Saturday morning here in Sydney. That's a good way to start your day. I don't know what day it is. What's your name? There you go. Get your alcohol rags ready. Fill up your little torches with your butane, or get your. Your torch ready. While we're waiting for everyone to get situated, if you haven't painted your board black, get after it. We just used a flat white spray paint, super quick, dries really fast. Um, in your kit for this month, you should have gotten a rag, a please leave us a review card. You're welcome. Also, leave us a review somewhere. You should have gotten a cup for mixing your resin. Should have gotten seven or eight color mixing cups. Should have a set of gloves. A whole bunch of packaging. I thought you said you were gonna wait till people got in. Yeah, I'm just showing what's in the kit for people that are collecting things to join in. You should have gotten a pack of swipies. 
can you use denatured alcohol? That would you be can, a you question. Yeah, you can oh, okay. answer Sorry. questions if you want. <laughs> um, denatured alcohol in my application, which is mostly countertops and stuff, it does not work in creating cells and in creating um, designs because there's too much water content in the na denatured alcohol. You may get a design right when you do it, but it's going to fade very quickly. It's not going to hold the design. You can, however, if you're having a problem finding isopropyl alcohol, you can uh, use Everclear, you can use which Everclear. also works great if your product doesn't turn out well. You right. can just drink yourself into a blue mess. <laughs> right. Uh, responsibly. Responsibly. Also, don't drink and drive, yes. B21, et cetera. That's right. If you're wiping off like for a rag, it probably works. Yes, yes, it, it it will work. It will work for that. Good application. Austin, Texas. You should also Durham, have some North stir Carolina. sticks. Just peel the brown part off of it. Pomona Beach, Florida, Alabama, Australia. You should have a pipette or two. No, just one. You also. Whichever. You also should have your cute little mini kits of stone coat, art coat. This is eight ounces. You probably will only mix up six for the kit. You should have a pink tint and a blue tint. You should have a white paste. You should have some glitter glass. You should have some gold liquid. And you should have one gram of grumpy chameleon paint. I have to take these down because I worry that in trans I have the yeah. worst luck with my liquid tints leaking in transit. I have a fit using Everclear. Quebec, Canada? What? Hi, Quebec. Arlington, Texas. Hey, you're right over there. You're very close to us. I love these little droppers. Monica says, I love your white hair. That's talking to you. Oh, me? Mine? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Very, very good. My daughter does this. Not as platinum. It doesn't go like. That's fine. I was just wondering. Yeah. So in the house with us, we have Rhonda from RK3 Designs and Karen from Abstract Impressions. Hi, guys. You met Karen last night, I think. Yeah, last night. Yep. She's been with us a couple of days. I couldn't remember what night was it that we went live. How much is this kit? This particular one was 125 However, every kit that we do is a different price depending on what we have in it. This one was priced a little bit higher because the tints are more pricey and the chameleons are a more pricey ingredient. If you have a buddy at your place with you that can um, type your questions for you, that would be beneficial. Hello from Tucson. We used to live in Tucson. These gloves are bigger than I thought they were. The ones in the kit. So, we always give people a little bit of time to get in the room, get acclimated, get set up. Thornton, when I start my Bama lives, kicks off at like, six. Can you go. all start mm -hmm. early or really late? We're going to start now. <laughs> um... I thought the game oh, kicks off football. I guess. Because the uh, hockey games <clears throat> at seven, right? Seven. Yeah. Since they just want us to get done this, like wants to start again. Um, is this camera still good? I put it, this on. Um, I, it can be, yeah. So I put three cups under my piece just to give it a little rise. Mm -hmm. You should have three cups in your. Oh, really? Right. It's Tilt it up just a little, not, yeah, you can do that too. More up? Either the camera or the whole thing uh, tilted. There you go. 
maybe turn it a little. There you go. Is it good? Yeah. Sweet. I don't need mine. No, I'm going to just use the wooden ones. Tears to you, uh, Karen, even though not drinking, but Tink as well, anyways. And I ordered Jeff some beer. Should be hearing that. Is everybody good to move on? Get started? Um, yeah, Trisha says hi. Hi, Yolanda, and everybody, and bam. Hey, guys. Cheers, sippy, sippy. Tomorrow, Bama. Yeah. Tomorrow? I don't know. It's tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know. I think it is. Tomorrow to what? The first college game. Oh. How did you get so many colors on your gloves already? Because that's what I do. <laughs> oh. I, I, I just get filthy. Mm. That's, that's my mojo. That's her mojo. Yes. Alright, before everybody's hands get sticky, can we get a thumbs up? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate that. And can we get a thumbs up on screen to let us know you guys are ready to rock and roll with the galaxy. Rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I'm about to start mixing resin. Just yeah. letting all the thumbs. So this is a an eight ounce graduated Hello, mixing Deb cup. from Canada. So many Canadians in here today. What is up? Um, we'll probably only need six ounces for the 12 inch cradle board as well as all four of the coasters for your leftover. But if you want to mix the whole eight ounces, cool. So we typically mix in the part B first, which is going to have the black lid on it. Well, it looks like I'm doing all eight ounces on accident. <laughs> have you ever just aimed for one and just gone over like, well, or I don't have my glasses on? I do that all the time. The reason why we put the part B in, I can tell you the e-science way and Rhonda can probably tell you the actual reason. In my head, it's because since it's thinner, it's less likely to stick to the walls of the cup. So you can mix it into the other part easier without having weak that's spots. That's a good explanation. Not the explanation I use in my classes, but that's a great explanation. Right, because it's not as sticky because it's thinner. Okay. Well, so what's the actual science answer? Well, I'm gonna know the actual science, but. The countertop answer then. When you mix in part A first, I mean part B first, excuse me, B is quite a bit thinner, less viscous, so it's gonna, self level really quick okay. then when you put in part a because part a is so much thicker can you push your board in just a little bit like in this way yeah. how how have part i done this already no, no. part b it's gonna get part a is so much thicker that it's going to flow down into part b and settle much faster than if you were to pour A in first and then pour B. So your measurement is more accurate when you pour in part B first because they they combined faster. Does that make sense? Okay, so it makes your measurement more accurate? Right, because, okay, think about it. If you pour in part A, okay, and then immediately pour in part B and you're looking they haven't combined yet. So if you wait a minute and then measure, there's gonna be a difference in your measurement. Is that sometimes why you have more part A at the end of your bottles? Shut up. I learned something new, as all did, as all did you. That's, and also you have some, as did all of you guys. Yes, so if you do put part, in, part A in Thank before you. you put part B, then you need to wait 30 to 45 seconds, even a minute, before you 
finalize your measurement. Make sense? Sure. Because it's going to adjust to the fact that part B is going to try to settle down into part A. Okay. Her sounds way more scientific and accurate than mine. <laughs> when you started off with it sinks down into the part B, I was like, oh, it just starts mixing itself without even stirring it up. I thought it would like, boop, that was the end of the, no, okay. Because if you watch it, like if you, if you didn't do anything, like if you poured part A and then you poured part B and you didn't stir it at all, eventually, that would trinkle and they would try to to mix, okay? I mean, obviously they're not gonna mix to where you can use it, but it would try to combine. Sure. If you put part B first and then put part A, it does that much quicker. I gotcha. So, just do part B first. That's right. <laughs> also, when you're mixing, make sure to scrape the sides of your cup and the base of your cup and your stir stick just to make sure you don't have any weak points in your resin. Because the very first piece I ever did <laughs> never set up. I saved it for two months, so I was like you one sure day. You didn't do A and A? I know, I don't think so. <laughs> it got real tacky, but it was still like hot glue. Oh, yeah. I did a galaxy for like that that was A and A. I think I'll some of <laughs> I was like, that's a really large burger. Also, there's aluminum lids on each of the mini bottles. Don't pour that into your... I wanted it to be part of my design. If you want to have a meteoroid... It was a meteoroid, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to like... Also, guys, I'm just going to jump in here like... I'm helping teach, too. <laughs> so. Rhonda teaches pro classes. Yeah. So, if you're in an area, and I know around the world a lot of it's... A, around the U.S. and stuff, it's starting to get really cool outside. If you're going to have in temperatures, say, lower than 74 or 72, take your epoxy the night before or early in the morning, a few hours before you're going to pour, and go put it somewhere where it can warm up, either in your house or put it in front of a space heater, but give it plenty of room because you do not want to get it too hot because it will cause some adverse reactions. Then it's going to mix and lay out so much nicer and you won't get a lot of air bubbles entrained in it. So in the winter when you mix up, a lot of times, especially if you use a drill, which y'all probably most don't do that because y'all don't mix up big amounts, but it turns the epoxy almost to white. But if your epoxy is... I've got to tell people when you're done. Okay. So I mix like I do countertops. So... No, um, wood introduces air, air bubbles, right. whereas our patent pending stir sticks Does do it. not. See the difference? But see, I'm not worried about because I know I'm going to torch those out. Well, yeah, so. for sure. But there are people that are like, why, why the why? air bubbles? Yeah. If you're trying to start off We're with less sure. air bubbles, yeah. see, yeah. even Karen's, so you know it's not operator error, has Cheers. less <laughs> right. air bubbles because so she makes that's wood. true. And that, it, that, yes, that's true. So but also, if it's cooler, if, if it's if you warm up your epoxy prior to using it, it'll also not take on so many bubbles as well. So fun fact: light makes all the sense. Yes. All right. That's easily three minutes plus eleven minutes. Mm -hmm. Y'all, let me know when you're ready to move on. Can it be warmed in a warm water bath? It can, but you want to make sh really sure that you don't have any water transfer through drips or anything when you move it. No, I'm listening. No, she, yes. it's the same answer I would have had. Yeah. You can do hot water baths. Just make sure it's not scalding water bath because the hotter your resin is, the quicker it's going to start to set up. It's going to decrease your working time substantially. There are some people that have those um, heat mats. Oh, that's a good idea. And they just lay the bottles on there that's and then a rotate them idea. after 15 minutes and then pour. Oh, you a heating pack. That's what like I said. a blanket on it. Oh, yeah. Just wrap them up in there like a little puppy. Good. 
to wrap it up like a puppy. Okay, so for this piece, I'm going to use mostly tints, and then my next most is going to be the Too Faced, and my least is going to be the white. So I'm going to put the most of my resin in these cups, the tints, then the next most is going to be the Grumpy, and then the least is going to be the white. But if you guys at home want to do your own adventure, pardon? I want to help. If you guys at home want to do your own adventure and have a different idea of Galaxy, by all means, and don't forget to post your results in ATD's Poor People or any other group for that matter. I'd like to see you on my page. Yeah. Go check out our K3 Designs page. They are mostly countertops, but they love resin of any shape, size. We are very models. appreciative to the art because I believe that countertops are functional art and should it's be true. treated as so. It's true. So I have almost full cups on my tints, half full for my grumpy, and then about a quarter full for the white. Uh, but that's just me. Gentifa's watching. What up, Jen? Gentifa. If y'all need um, children's home care, health care, what's it called? Home health. Home health care. At home health care for your child. Their uh, their company does that. In Dallas. <laughs> In Dallas. Um, I just real <laughs> right. I just realized that I didn't send enough stir sticks for this kit. So take the one that you have in your big resin mixing apparatus, wipe it off, and use it for one of these. What is this for the tint? Mm, I think that's aqua. The tints are aqua and purple topaz. And the really cool thing about the tints are they're buildable. So you can do one drop for a lighter shade more drops for a darker shade. It's your party and you can do what you want to. So I'm gonna start with three drops and build it off of there. Huh? Of course you are, I just put two. What, you can do oh, two drops? I did, time. now I just did like eight. You can <laughs> have eight drops. So. Have a ton. I, I just, have a I build. It's a galaxy, it's gonna be good. Right, it's a galaxy. Make it, make it however you want to. Ooh, this is not so Huh? This overhead, it just goes like blown out for no reason. Like I don't. This is not purple topaz. This is pink passion. And I'm gonna have to add more pigment. These are the cutest little bottles ever. Aren't they cute? They're little perfume sample bottles. I was like, I need 90. I just added five more drops. Thank you, Monica. Vam says just pour the whole thingy. You could pour the whole thingy. If you want me to pour the whole thingy? I love that. Whoever said that, I love you. It's Vam. That's so cute. Vam. She's my kind of person. That's how I cook. Can I just like dump it in there? Sure. Yes, you can. Yes. I heart all of this. It looks like melted Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks, yeah. Or Benadryl liquid. More liquid like Benadryl. <laughs> I'm going to make my blue a little bit darker as well. I'm not going to pour the whole thingy. I guess it sounds like Matt needs some rest. Jason Hadfield, everybody. If you guys need some screen printing, go to artscape.com. That's his stripper announcement. Uh, yeah, I've heard it before. Oh. Artscape.com. Artscape.com. Not <laughs> .com. When you mix your... I'm going to wipe my hands Dallas off. Dallas or the surrounding area. I'm going to mix my powder in off of my surface because 100% of the time it's going to get everywhere. So the cool thing about chameleons is you don't have to have a lot of it for it to show up. 
So I'm gonna do. Then okay. we just leave it on all three of those, so you can do Maybe. that. I just Hold need on. to show this amount. I'm gonna. Just, there's a little bump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Key. I'm just gonna do just the tip right here. I'm just gonna mix that in first and see how it looks. I love it already. Am I on overhead too? You can bring Lila over here. I would love that. She would love it. Um, Marie wants to bring uh, Lindsay over. You guys should, we should set a date before we leave for uh, Isla. It's not necessary, but I just doubled my dose in my grumpy. You can pour the whole thing in, but you're gonna be a little bit <clears throat> wasty. Hard to tell the kids edition. Dude, that would be so fun. Cause Lindsay wants to, uh, Lindsay wants to do a, a resin board. We're gonna have to put a clause and, in our and you know, thing to come pick up. Lila is super artistic, so she loved that. We normally recommend uh, that kids be at least thirteen and over, but she's artistic. She's gonna she's going places. <laughs> she is. So I probably put three of the amounts that I showed you guys in. And it's still going to be translucent. That's what you want. So you can see nope. Okay, guys. Okay. Thanks, boys. Could you come the back? You can't be laying in the closet and barking. That's lazy. Cujo, enough. Thank you. So as you can see, it's still a hazy, translucent color, which is what you want. You want to be able to see the black of the board through it. The last shade is white. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I always have resin spilled on this one. So, depending on how much resin you have in your cup, it's going to be how much paste you need. You'll definitely have leftover of each of these colors, so that you can attempt this again or use it for other future pieces. You want your white to be opaque. which means you can't see through it. We have colors. Colors, colors, colors. If you have colors on your hands, especially the white, wipe your hands off. I'm gonna make Rhonda move here just for delivery options. I'm good right now. You need delivery options? No wine just got delivered. I know, I was gonna say. So, I'm still. All right. Yeah, good for the moment. All right. You guys let me know when you're ready to move on. The great thing about this resin Stone Coat Art Coat is that you have two hour working time, so no one has to rush. When you are ready, I'm going to put a little bit of clear down to grease the pan, which just means that I'm, <laughs> every time I'm around Rhonda and I say grease the pan, I think of her phrasing. See you, Vamp. Thank you. Which would be, we're lubing it up. We're lubing it up. We're lubing it up. I it was is called out by Miss Erica on a live. Because I was moving in it. Can, uh, can you guys repeat the colors that are in the kit? Yes. We've got aqua tint from Color Obsession. You can also substitute um, azure or Bondi blue. They're very similar. We have pink passion. You can also use flamingo or magenta. It's very similar. We're using titanium white from Just Resin, and we're using Grumpy Chameleon by Too Faced, which is our in-house brand. Those are the colors that we've already mixed up here. I'm just 
popping these bubbles. Don't use too much heat at this point. You don't want to thin out your resin. And a little floater, but I got it. How's everybody doing? You guys ready to move on? Uh, it, yeah, it looks like they're just kind of... I feel like if there's a lot of people mm -hmm. talking, that people are ready, and if no one's talking... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they're talking. I think uh, I'll just move on. All right. So, I am going to start with the blue. See you, Vamp. So the galaxy that I'm doing is going to be one of those spiral galaxies that are like whoosh, into each other. How's it going? Whoosh, um, they like yin yang spiral in. Yeah. So they're going to do. Yeah. So they're going to come from opposite ends and swirl into the center. Okay. So. Yep. But if you guys just want to do uh, a hostess, host, yeah, <laughs> or a ho ho, yeah. yeah. I'm not right that. So I just swirled it in and brought it back out. Um, I ended the swirl about a quarter of the way through. Yeah, I started with blue, but you start with any, whatever one. So you're gonna, this is what I did. You can have your own adventure. I started here. I came around and ended here. You can't see it yet. Like because a lollipop. See, it's a dark galaxy. The width is about an inch. Yes, yeah, I've got mine a little small, but that's okay. I have a plan. All you need. Is <laughs> sure. So now this one, I'm going to come in from opposite of my blue. So it'll be here. And just bring it in to meet where I stopped in the middle of with the board. I'm gonna turn my board around because I feel like I have more control that way. And you can't see anything happening right now, but once we have the white in there, it's gonna be brilliant. But right now I'm trying to consider if I wanna do the grumpy or do the white before or after they're grumpy because, well, actually this will look fine. If you have um, a chameleon that's a color other than basically clear, if it goes over white, it, it's a real dingy brown color. But with this, it'll just look fun over the white. So I'm going to swirl in some white, but with this, I'm going to use my stir stick so I can do a thinner, more controlled line. I'm just going to come in with the pink and back out, and then I'm going to do the same thing through the blue and back out. So you're doing a perimeter of pink? I'm probably just going to go through it oh, because gotcha. I'm going to use the swipe to make it gotcha. fun. Clearscape says, just so you know, I rip off all your ideas. Take them. Is that <laughs> The white. I'm just gonna swirl it in and back out. And if you break that swirl, it's perfectly fine. If you pick up a color onto your stir stick, don't put that back in the white. Wipe it off on your rag first so that you don't tint your white color. I'm gonna take a sippy and let everybody catch up. Wrong.
Rhonda's being extra. She's putting stars down. No, I'm not. I drop crap. You need clear? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So you just did that on the pink or the blue too? I did it through the blue and through the pink. Because when we swipe it, it's going to yeah. give an awesome like highlight and I hope a glow. But you know, when you have an idea, when you're working with resin, it's going to be like, I have no idea what you're I see what you're trying to do. Nanny says, My idea can you explain that from the start again, please? Sure. All right, Nene. So first thing I did was swirl the blue in. So I started here with the blue. It's hard to see because it's transparent on black. But I started here and I went a full circle plus a quarter. Then I spun my board around and with the pink, I swirled it 100 plus a quarter and back out. Then I did that same thing with the white. So I did a white on top of my blue all the way around and back out. And then with the pink, it came in and back out. Well, I did because I stuck my finger in it. So that was a happy accident. Sometimes you just stick your finger in it. So, personally, I'm going to leave our grumpy for after the swipe, but if you want to go ahead and put it in now, absolutely do. In fact, I'm going to put just a little bit through. It's crazy how it glows. What's up, Shane? Just a little small spin. Is Chris coming over tomorrow? He says y'all want something for dinner. Monday, Wednesday, okay. and Friday. Yeah, just put a thin line in. It's going to mix in a little bit when we do the swipe, which is perfectly fine. Now the grumpy is a chameleon, so if you look at it from one direction, it's going to be like a pink color. And if you look at it from another direction, like above, it will be blue. And in between, it'll show purple. And now we have all the phones going off. Next, we're going to get out okay, the Okay, whoever's watching me and saying stop looking at your watch, I'm still working, by the way. <laughs> Who called me out? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> That's legit work right there. I'm still on the clock. <laughs> she just doesn't want to hang out with us. She has better things. <laughs> no, I'm taking care of my people. So, how is everybody? Are we good? And stop texting me. Clara, but she should be in the thing. She is. Clara. <laughs> we got too many fairy sounds. Thank you here. very much. <laughs> my table's not level anymore, so it was uh, Mine's to... not in my shop, and I'm the same way. So. I just turned mine halfway around because I can see from here that my lines are shifting. Well, we're shifting that way because it's lower on that side. Is everybody good? Proceed? Unproceed. I can see where everyone is and on video class I'm like yeah how are we doing but usually everyone's really good at telling Jeff to yell at me to slow down let's have a hair there we go we good be so these uh, people that are talking are just the, either the mods or the people that are just watching. Cool. I don't think anybody's. Okay. 
I ripped my swiping paper in half because I want to have a smaller one because I have more control. So I ripped it to about the width of what my line was. So I'm on the side where the blue ends. So I'm going to swipe through the blue. And at this point, your resin should have settled enough to where you can see where your blue line is from where it's getting into the white versus where your pink line is. So I'm going to swipe all the way around with my blue. So I'm going to start in the center at an angle because you don't want to have a hard start or a hard stop. And when you swipe, you want to do it level or horizontal. And just spin it around. Take your time. If you go too fast, it'll jump. Nothing bad will happen if you go too slow. Keep it horizontal and take your time. I'm a two-handed swiper. Yeah, it's super fun looking. And pull it all the way off of the piece. This is a galaxy. It's not supposed to be perfect. But my galaxy is supposed to be perfect. Oh. Because I live in a perfect galaxy. Uh, <laughs> what a fun laugh. I have a little hiccup here, but that's fine. My galaxy has a little... So this is so out of my comfort zone. You've swiped as soon you do it. I know, but I'm not good at it. I get better with it. do the exact same thing but through the pink. I have rotated my whole board so that where the pink comes off the board is facing towards me so that I'm pulling towards myself for the majority. Because the blue is either going over or under or the pink is going over the under the white. There's a question about why it's glowing. Yeah, why it's showing now. That's no problem. <laughs> This is your galaxy and you can have it anywhere you want it. We're just going to pull all the way through. This uh, right corner is going to be kind of pivot until you get kind of past the first quarter or fourth and just pull it all the way around. Take your time. You want to give your resin enough time to be picked up and redeposited as you pull your swiping paper. I should have put more pink in mine. My piece, my resin. I hesitated right here, and you can see a fold, but that's fine. I'm just gonna hit it with some heat in a little bit. So I actually like how Rhonda's is mixing the pink and the blue in some areas. Yes, so that was planned. Totally nailed that plan. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pink through some of my blue areas. I'm going to add some more pink tint so I can have a deeper color. That looks like ice cream. I want ice cream. I can have delivered. <laughs> oh, that's right. That blows my mind still. So I live in the country, so we don't have things delivered. And every time I say I want something, she goes, I can deliver, have that delivered. It's true.
since this is Galaxy, you can swipe and re-swipe and readjust things a number of times. So for my next trick, I'm going to swipe from the center and come out crossing over some of my colors. That may sound difficult, but it's it's not, I promise you. So I'm gonna start in the center, pick up resin, and come through my swipes so that I'm kind of pinwheeling off of the board right here. I'm just using the short side of my swiping paper, letting about a pinky's width of resin pick up on my swiping paper, and I'm pulling all the way through. And then repeating that as I go around. And what's that, what that is doing is just kind of giving it kind of a starburst look. Okay, that looks good. I'm just like keeping. Just do what I'm Yours doing. looks great. I know. Everybody's looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Star Wars is never gonna go to this galaxy. That's a little messed up. Well, Star Wars say, has issues too. They're gonna say avoid, avoid, abort, abort. Avoid. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not a Star Wars fan, okay? Well, that has nothing to do with Star Wars. Star, whatever. <laughs> what do they say? Abort? No. Just, just <laughs> stay the hell away. Just don't, okay? So I'm just following that pull that I did all the way around. Once you swipe, will the resin stay like that or will you have to do it a couple more times? It'll stay where you leave it. Unless you heat it up a lot. If you use a lot of heat, it will not stay. See how this is starting to go into my other colors? That's what I'm kind of looking for a little bit. Just take your time. Being from Texas, this looks like a tornado, I mean a hurricane. Well, galaxies, some galaxies, the spiral ones, look like just galactic hurricanes. So if yours looks like a hurricane, then you are on the right track. Wow. I'm pumped. Now, in your kits, you also got glitter glass and gold liquid. Both of which are your prerogative to add. When I, um, when Jeff and I toured Australia the second time, one of the major questions that we had asked all the time is restraint and knowing when to stop. So think about everything you add onto a painting like an accessory. If you like how your painting looks, don't add more to it. Just because you have it doesn't mean you have to use it. Okay. Personally, we joke. I am so fine with how this piece looks. And I'm torn with if I need to add the gold or the fire glass just for display purposes. So, I might do it just so you guys can see what it looks like. But personally, if this was a piece I was just doing on my own, not for a class, it looks great. I, I would that. leave this. That is solo. Did you put? You, did you put uh, the chameleon in it? Yeah, Grumpy's right through here, all the way through the center. 
See the shimmer? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wow. So, if you're looking at your piece and you're like, that's awesome. Don't add anything else. If your piece gets kind of busy, use bigger swiping papers. Rhonda, I like how yours is looking. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks great. It, that, yours has so much movement, like it's like it's in It's action. a really mad hurricane. Wow. No, it looks so very galactic. And then Karen's is like <laughs> super moving fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. They all look awesome. Wow. Now I want to see a bigger one like that. Like that would be so amazing. A bigger one? Yeah. So probably for the sake of just showing you guys, I may break out the gold and the fire glass. But I'm telling you, if you're at home and you're digging your piece, please don't add any more to it. Because the fire glass is going to interrupt your flow, as is the gold. Claire said, Erica, it is great right now. You could stop here, but... Oh my gosh, but she could go to the next step. Rhonda's looks like an awesome black hole. That's it. Well, that is I feel like I'm falling into it. Aww. Yay. And then Holly says, agree, Clara. Clara, I love watching RK3 tutorials. She makes it look so easy. No. Thank you, whoever said that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Holly and Clara. I take acting lessons. <laughs> Lies and fairy tales. So, if you want to get crazy is that the montana gold this is montana liquid gold you can get the big jars on oh, that's not my amazon wife. i was like is that gonna happen it's not my wife <laughs> Rhonda yeah, almost took a big sip of resin much. i know you've done that i've done it i haven't drank resin but i've gotten it on my lip before so if you want to get crazy So basically you're saying you could stop here? But Literally, you could stop here. This could be a finish on its own. And if I was just doing this for myself, I'd be done. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you what these other products are going to do. So uh, this gold has a little bearing in it. You should hear it shake. It has probably separated while it's set on your shelf. So make sure you shake it up, get it nice and mixed. Use the pipette that was provided. Provided? Oh, mm-hmm. And I always let my um Ooh. I always let some of my gold just soak out. Oh yeah, mine's like jumping out of there. Mm-hmm. So, be right down overhead. Can they see this gold? Um, I can put it on overhead. But it's not like up close. Let me see if I can put this a little bit up close for them. I'm not going to hold it over the piece, so. I mean, they could see it, but it's not. Can they see the like dark and versus the light? Areas. I can zoom it in. So I went on the wrong side of the paper. Yeah. If you pour it out on a piece of swiping paper like I did, it should be on the flat right. side. So this is what to do. This is what not to do. You'll know you did it on the wrong side if it starts to cool up yeah. instead of soak in. So you want it to start to soak in a little bit. Right. So I'm going to just... 
It's, I mean, it's zoomed in as much as I can. It's all right. All right. Cujo, leave it. Enough. Thank you. He's been extra grumpy lately. So I'm just going to, if you poured it out on a piece of swiping paper and use a stir stick that you've wiped off to move it around, you can see that there's a lighter part and a darker part to this gold. You really want that darker, oily looking part to soak into that paper. So I just let it move back and forth. Okay, Miz, just relax. Is that on the shiny side or the regular side? It's on the flat side. It won't soak into the shiny side. It'll just beat up. So if you have any resin that's dropped over onto your, whatever you have protecting your surface, if you put a little bit of resin down on it, just to see how far it's going to bloom. If it moves a lot, then you still need to let it soak up a little bit more. Mine bloomed a fair bit. And bloom means it grows past the line that you applied. Sometimes this process takes a little bit. Which is fine. I yeah, Jerry. We, she she uh, she knows about to charge you for the coasters. Yes. I'm sure I've gotten your text message. I haven't I haven't opened the red phone much today, so I will get it, and I will send you an invoice like last time. So I'm gonna do another roadside test. It's still growing a little bit, but not too bad. So this I'm going to just add like microscopic little dots. You can add them that way, or you can kind of flick them off of your stir stick. Just hold it after you have some on there and thump it. Am I on the side camera only? Oh, uh, yeah, you're on that one now. It looks great on that camera. We need to get, this one needs to be retired. Okay. It's like the only one that's like a bad trouble. And so for some reason, overhead. Have whole bunch of awesome looking little stars. Rhonda's getting awesome and making shooting stars. Yeah, I'm just like, like So if you want to do a shooting star, just pull a tail off of. What do you call those things? One comets? Yeah. Kind of comets. That one looked a little bit tadpole-y, so I'm going to just lock that out. Vudaba. If you sprinkled glitter dust in, would it just sink or swim at this stage? Or should it always be added with the resin? Either or, the, if the you're problem doing glitter glass or glitter dust. Yeah, the problem with with adding glitter to the top when you do something, it'll depending on the glitter if it's if it's really fine and if it's more of a plastic, I would say it, it floats right, like it'll stay, and then you'll have to do a flood coat. You'll be able to see it. Right, it'll lay on the surface. Yeah. If you have a poly glitter, it should stay buoyant. And then if you have like a metal flake, like a car grade glitter, it's gonna sink. Um, if you're talking about the glitter glass that we have in a kit, which is just extra fine shards of glass, you need to put it on after you're done with everything else. So I'm going to hit mine with a little bit of heat. I'm not going to put too much heat where the gold is because you're going to kind of wrinkle the spray paint, which is kind of what it is. 
which is not fun. You just want to pop some bubbles real fast. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to add this fire glass. Nope, glitter glass. Um, you will not be able to do a flood coat over your glitter glass. This should be the last, last thing. Step. If you look at your piece and you see some issues where you're going to maybe flood coat it, don't add your glitter glass. This should be the last thing. If you flood over this, it will disappear because you're going to take the facets out of this glass. Now, if this was a piece just for me, I, I would have I'm taking Halo and it, run it with that, with those lines. That would be like... Halo? Yeah, that would be... Well, I can't do that because it's not in the kit. I know. I'm just saying. Just because you guys are such great teachers and mentors. Well, thank you, Teresa. <laughs> so... I'm gonna Rhonda. add this. Rhonda, are you doing a live as well? Uh, on my channel? No. No. Not right, I mean, not like simultaneously, no. I do lives every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. On Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. I was, I'm gonna start doing them on YouTube. Tuesday night, Rhonda's gonna go live. All right, guys. <laughs> Bring Rhonda to the stage. RK3 design is in the house. Now I'm just trickling on this. Glitter glass. Glitter glass. I keep trying to call it fire glass. What's that's what. Glass? That's what we used on our geo. What's mm -hmm. the difference? Fire glass is larger chunks. They're an inch or quarter inch, half inch. There's a larger pieces, and glitter glass is extra fine glass. It is very fine. I've never cut myself. However, you can cut yourself. It's However. glass. It's I, sharp. Be careful. I'm told if you run through your studio at night with the lights off barefooted, it could get in your feet. I was told by a friend. Lies. According to sources. <laughs> yes. Now I'm just putting hostess swirls of this through the piece. You can get crazy with it and go all over. I'm going over my colored bits, like the pink and where it's just really blue. And this is gonna give your galaxy some nice sparkle. How do I find Rhonda on Facebook, please? RK3 Designs, with an S, Designs. We can add her link to the, if Clara's in here, she, or JJ, yeah. they can add her link. Deborah, it, I mean, it'll be smooth, but, not it'll if, adjust if, itself to like smoother yeah i mean if you, run you don't your hand want across it, it you don't you don't it. want it to be smooth with this you want you want the glitter glass to to be at different angles so the light catches it and it blings out typically it doesn't stick straight out jagged edge style like if you look at mine they're laying a little bit differently but none of them are sticking straight out to where if I ran my hand across it, I'd completely gash myself. That being said, don't run your hand across the fire glass. <laughs> Can I test your three? Negative man. Deborah said, oh, okay, I thought I was doing it wrong. No. No, that stuff, you know, and what, we're, we're an hour into it, so. Oh, okay. Very fun, very fun, very fun. Wunderbar, wunderbar. So now you should have a very sparkly, very extra galaxy miss. Don't so I have and Hurricane Rhonda. That's mine. I have self-named my hurricane. That is Rhonda from the um, RK3 Black Galactic Group. Rhonda, Rhonda from the block. Rhonda from the block. That's it. Rhonda from the block for sure. Rhonda from the block. Now, good job. Leave it. Bowie pee. <laughs> Bowie's looking yep. around like, I didn't look outside. What am I doing? Yeah, because you won't take the other side off. Oh, you'll take one I side off and then pour it. Okay, that's enough. 
can't believe this idea. That dog would eat you three times. I'm I'll trying to find out. Uh, <laughs> okay. Stop. He's like, he ain't eating Stop. me. He's protecting you, B. There's a dog that he oh. evidently does not like out there. Oh. There's a big old pit bull out there. He's <laughs> it was like, I don't even like that guy. Do you do things? No. Thanks. You do. Do you pit on me? You go. Oh, wait. These I ones are just India. Oh, I'm proud of them. I thought this was acrylic. No, that's what I thought. Hey, Bowie Pete. These are just India posters. So you're probably going to have to paint them. Do you want some food? You don't have to. I'll we'll just paint them. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can paint them black as well. So I'm going to take these and put them in the dust free zone. Hi. Hi. Hey, Mr. Hi. Hey, you got man. it. You can have a nice rest. He's you like nice all geared rest. up for tonight's crazy time. And then again, he's... I was trying to be a legit fit for all. I thought they were acrylic. I, didn't, I guess I didn't look and see what you were doing. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. I was just like... I couldn't figure out once I went frozen off, but I couldn't find that edge. Peel the paper. I said, I think it was a geo. An acrylic geode, I didn't peel the paper off. And I did the whole geode. And uh, with the paper off. It actually turned out good because I loved it. Monica wants to know Does Rhonda use purple shampoo to keep her hair that white without yellowing? Honey, the, well, kinda. Yes. Honey? Honey, <laughs> sweetie. Um, I'm from Texas, so everybody's honey. Um, I ever so often my daughter she'll give me a toner and she'll put that toner on uh, but for the most part I'm just white headed uh, but yes I do use a purple shampoo about every fourth fourth shampoo but I don't know if you can see I don't know where I'm looking anyway right here on my bangs because I'm always doing this it has a yaka dingy yellow so a lot of times I'll just take this part with purple shampoo and just swirl it and let it set for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Then I'll shampoo the rest of my hair to kind of keep that one streak not being so dingy. Hair uh, tutorials and everything. Yes. <laughs> Does that make sense? Shoot. I put purple shampoo on my hair and dry. Kevin Murphy and is And let it the, sit there. Yeah. My daughter's salon, she, uh, she sells Kevin Murphy. So that's the brand of shampoo that she gets me for the, I guess the purple stuff. So I just do what she tells me. Now I have a lot of resin left over, so I'm coastering it up. With coasters, the world is your oyster. I have the most success with coasters when I don't overthink it. Strategically place it. So I learned something <laughs> tonight with Erica. Her strategically placing it is entirely different from my strategically placing something. I don't see how yours is strategic in the I just throw it down. Then how is it strategic? Well, yeah. I strategically throw it down. No. <laughs> it's a chaotic strategic. That's it. Chaotic strategery. Uh, what I do, I Strate think about... Strategery. Strategery. That's it. Chaotic I think strategery. about throwing it down. That's what makes it strategic. So, the pack... Okay, so... If it were murder, you would have premeditated it by seven seconds. Probably. Is Erica going to add more to her piece after it cures? Nope. New nine. I put the glitter glass down, which will always be the last step when you're doing something like that. It, you can't, you can't put anything else on it. Erica uses genuine Smurf for her blue hair. It's true. You just she's the only person the I know my hair. that can Smurf it and get away with it. If I did that, I would look like a total Smurf. Monica said, "Thanks, my ends go yellow. That's why I." Perfect. Yeah. Purple try, shampoo. Try that and then just try just putting it on that part. Hang out, have a glass of wine, and then go take a shower. But don't drink the whole bottle and forget because you will end up with purple streaks. I know that for a fact. That's how come my hair's purple. Yeah. 
Does anybody know how long to leave a wooden tree slab in to dry before you can put resin on it? You need to have it at at least a moisture content of below 6%. Oh, how do you know that? You there's a reader. You there's can get readers. A, obviously. Go to Home Depot. Well, then that's how you know. I don't know. Yeah, go to Home Depot or Amazon. They've got they've got moisture readers. You get what you pay for. Just saying. So don't go for the cheapest ones. Don't risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, not if you're you've got a nice beautiful piece of slab wood. Oh, I thought she was about to say if you have a beautiful piece of wood. Slab wood. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you do it right because you have one shot. Yep. If you don't let that moisture work its way out, you will get mold and, and bubbles oh. and all kinds of stuff. Horribleness. Does that piece just continue to off gas into the resin? What is she doing? What is she doing? I'm loving this. B, what do you think about my this? This is my Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. It's pink. No, it's blue. Leave that there for a second. That's great. Okay, I will get one. The tree fell and I'm cutting slabs. Oh, if the tree just fell, you're gonna need to let that. Oh yeah. Well, you can put. You can you take put it, it in to some kiln? if someone has a kiln. Yeah. Kiln. Kiln. As opposed to a kennel. Right. Don't don't take it to a kiln. It won't help you. So if you have someone that has a large scale kiln, they will be able to help you. I am so pumped with all of these awesome galactic things tonight. Now all of you guys at home have some chameleon to work with. I have at least three quarters of my chameleon powder left and that should last for a while. I do offer one on one classes via Skype. Well, of course, you do. That's awesome because you're so smart. That's way cool. People need just a little bit extra help. Always happy to provide. How's everybody doing at home? Dangerously close to that other one. Me? Yeah. Yeah. How fun! Look, the cells are breaking and the chameleon's under. Oh! Beautimus. Can you see? I can't see the cells. I mean, oh yeah. If you just leave it, like. Yeah, that looks awesome. Ooh, ah. great. Now I have to do that to the other ones. And that's 
because you took the white and you swiped, swiped it. it over the chameleon. Yes, gotcha. Remember when you do a swipe to hold your paper as horizontal as you're comfortable. Let a good amount of resin soak up into your swiping paper and swipe relatively what light is that? slowly. Oh, there's a big one. This is color obsession, Snow White. However, most of the whites that we carry in the shop will give you this kind of cell action. What's up? JJ. So I put purple shampoo in my studio, drink a bottle of wine, make sure my hair is 6% moist, and cross my fingers, right? <laughs> That's it. I don't know who you are, but you're funny. JJ. 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 I like you. Is it titanium white or snow white? Titanium white. Oh, it's titanium. I'm sorry. It is titanium. Titanium white by Just Resin. However, snow white will <clears throat> do the same. But this is... Titanium. My apologies. Hey, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Karen and I have been working on her cell structure this week. But she is currently reporting to me that she nailed it. The cells. That was gonna happen. Ah! Okay, we're gonna do a melded marble. How about that? I don't know what that means. That means we're gonna do a countertop. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Are you gonna do the twice? Yeah. How does that go? Ooh. I can't help it that you don't understand technical terms. You guys wipe this end off because it looked like too much of a blunt stop. You were a what? If I were a bondage spreader, how would I look like here? Game starting! This is going to act different for your amalgamated mega murder marble because the tints are so much thinner. Yeah. You'll end up just making a whole bunch of purple. I'm making a purple. Okay. Make a purple, good. Do it. Okay. Ron is getting extra. <laughs> the pink is right. No, I just gotta do something so it looks like I'm not a big failure. Gotta run some of this off. Got too much. Okay. 
It's not going to hurt anything in my no, heart. The, no, uh, <laughs> the, the coasters that we're using are MDF. Bust up it? Yeah. It's still moving, so it's not going to stay fractured. I'm going to wait till it settles a little bit and I'll refracture it. Do you like any of them enough for me to put in the dust free zone? I'm still working all of them. Yeah. Can you run with me an extra? Uh, it's not going to stay because the resin's still too, it's still too fresh. Uh, it's uh. Oh, don't look at me like that yet. I've got 15 minutes. See you, Emma. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks, Emma. Ooh, big fan. This looks awesome. See what it did? It went to the bridge screws. Yeah, I've done that. It's my favorite. If you look how fun this is. She basically made abalone shell. Oh yeah, wow. Very cool. That's very nice. Very nice, very very. Show you guys what old girl over there is doing over here. Oh, my <laughs> sea chickens. <laughs> Yeah, they're singing the national anthem right now on the Stars game. And I love it when they do the Star Spangled Banner. Anytime they say stars, they put in a crowd saying star, stars. Like, uh -huh. yep. it blows my Dallas mind that they do it. What's up, Mark Reed? Do you get better results by spritzing the alcohol on when the resin is a little thicker than fresh? They're, I guess they're asking. What Rhonda's talking about? Yes. It's better when the uh, it's, you get a better effect if the, if the resin is set up for at least 30, 45 minutes and then you keep in mind it's an art coat. So probably even longer. Depends on what effect you're, you're trying to really keep tight cells or tight a tight pattern then it's best to fog and fracture after your epoxy is pretty set up late in the game late in the game i usually do it you can do a test okay so you can do a test Sorry. with your finger can you see her b can you see her and if you can, oh, yeah. if you've got it where it's starting to get a little more stringy than this, and you can, like with art, I guess you could test underneath where your drips come off or yeah, not. Um, I like to do it when it's a little farther along than that. So if you can pull it an inch. Right, if you can pull I it can't. this far and it stay together, that's perfect. He needs to do it 
underneath that camera. This there, camera? You aren't on any camera, yeah, but you have this to have camera. your hands sideways. You have to do it like this. Okay, so I like to do it when, okay, so that's pretty good. See how far I can come before my string breaks? But I'm kind of doing it sideways. So it's kind of like that. <laughs> Challenged her by doing a sideways. So see how it's stretching? So this right here was as a perfect. Do you pull it an inch and a half to two inches without right. it breaking? Without it breaking. That's a great. Now, if it's super, super thick on top, then it's going to not give you the, a reaction as well. If Come on, stars. If it's Come just on like one please. coat. Mm -hmm. Put on the pressure, please. <laughs> All right, guys. Do you have any requests for next month's Pour With Us class? Please leave them in the comments. Or send me a message so that I can know what it is that you would like to see. Um, right now, I'm leaning to, what, come here, wanted to say hi. Yeah, hi beans. Thanks Mike, have a good one bud. The boys wanted to say hi to y'all. Um, I'm thinking about doing a uh, back to basics primary color class, it will be a cheaper or more affordable economical class um, but if there's something you would rather do let me know send me messages I will be releasing the next class by the first so you have until then to get me your uh, request I'm gonna probably be doing a poll in the ATD's poor people group so join us there so you can vote or leave me a suggestion Special thanks to Karen and Rhonda for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please join us in all of our groups. We'll see you on the next class. Post your um, piece from tonight in ATD's Poor People. We'd love to see what you guys created. Um, yeah. Check us out everywhere where you can be found. You can find it over there, over here. I don't know where. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. If y'all go to my website or my Facebook, give me a shout out and tell me that y'all were here so i know i can put names to where i met you guys so it's true see ya karen doesn't have her youtube going yet yes. she's going too soon yes i am be kind to one another you never know what someone's going through but we'll see you guys next time bye i said bye y'all fail both of you guys bye, fail, 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 fail. Just fail, fail 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 adios